Hello, hello on this beautiful, bright, sunny morning. And it's a perfect day to be a perfect day. And a great day to do a little wrap up of the sun gazing from last week. So sun gazing is also called sun eating. So why is that so? Actually, the longer you do sun gazing, the more you realize why it is like that. The moment you look at the sun, you feel charged up. So it's basically looking at the sun gives me more, a lot more energy than eating or anything. And it's almost like as if I would be drinking the sun's energy up. And so I would rather maybe call it sun drinking. But it's incredible what energy you get, like you physically feel the energy on your body vibrating. So it's really important um, to not have any metal on you, I realize, because that kind of disturbs the whole feeling and you want to feel the soft vibrations all over your body and not only um, with little breaks in between where the metal is. Um, it's also really important to find a quiet place. Well, right now it doesn't really sound really quiet, but I mean quiet um, with no people around because uh, aura of other people really gets disturbing as well so sun gazing in the evenings is kind of challenging in that matter another thing which I mentioned already before the ground well I mentioned it and I thought said it's important and whatever but now that I've been sun gazing in the evenings and I had to stand on asphalt or pebbles or stone plates I tried different grounds I really felt a difference. So on stone plates, basically sun gazing has nearly no effect. On pebbles, it's okay. And um, if you stand on asphalt, it's almost unbearable. So I tried a little bit to not hop around, but to wiggle on my feet. And only when I was on my toes, so touching the ground, really not at all, then I was able to sun gaze. Otherwise, it was just nearly unbearable I have to say um, yeah generally I really feel that the Sun is supporting um, and present in my life even though my body and my world self I call it um, don't really realize it and maybe don't even recognize or acknowledge it and that is amazing but on the other hand it's also a little bit irritating because um, I'd like to be a lot less realistic and to soak in all the benefits from sun gazing but as it looks right now I have to be a little bit patient with myself and just accept that things are happening and um, that they are happening for a reason the universe provides and yeah just get my worldly self used to the spiritual um, outcomes of sun gazing. So that's it uh, for today. Um, the lesson of today I would say concerning that I forgot is maybe indulging. Indulge in the sun gazing. It's almost four minutes now and really like I really can let go now and it teaches you to indulge and to let go otherwise you wouldn't be able to stand in the middle of a garden every morning and <laughs> looking maybe a little bit funny so yeah just enjoy it fully and then you'll get all the benefits so that's it for today and the wrap up and tomorrow i'll go on with some asiatic sun gods so have a beautiful day